doing today everybody i've got a uh first of all to everybody that watches everybody that subscribes and everybody that comments i want to i want to want to apologize a little bit here man this is my busiest time of the year from let's say from uh november to to april man i will be swamped and to everybody that's leaving comments, just give me a couple of days. I always say it, and I, I appreciate y'all's patience. And uh, But I promise you, I will get back to you. I've got it set up on my computer to where uh, I don't miss anything. It may take me a couple of days, but I do not miss anything. And, uh, man, look, I get pictures every day now, y'all. So cool. I get pictures of guys and, and, and ladies that have never tied a jig a day in their life. And they started watching my videos, you know, several months back. And uh, now they're tying jigs. And, uh, man, I get some good pictures. Believe it or not, just from these videos, I get tons of pictures, guys. And it brings a lot of joy to my heart to be able to you know, put this out there, you know, to my fellow anglers and, and crappie enthusiasts to where they can be able, you know, y'all can be able to comprehend, you know, and, and pick up the jig making trade yourself. Because believe it or not, guys and gals, it's just basically like any other trade there is. It's actually a dying breed, you know. So, uh, I mean, it's, if there's somebody, you know, if you're learning or you know how to tie jigs, you know, we need to pass this on, you know, to the younger generations, you know, because just like everything else, you know, one day there won't be nobody that really knows how to do it unless we take the initiative to, you know, to show them how to do it. And that's, that's one of the reasons that I actually started this channel. I mean, and don't get me wrong, it's a lot of work. A lot of work goes into it. Uh, but, man, when I see these pictures and I get these comments, you know, it really it, it brings joy to my heart. And that's the honest God truth. So I want to say thank you. Thank you very, very much. So today, uh, I know y'all don't see me tie a lot with marabou or neck hackle or whatever, but Anyway, I tie with it every day, y'all, and uh, I, I tie around, I don't know, from 2700 to 3000 a month, all right, by myself, with no help now, so that's a lot, a lot of jigs, so, you know, the ones that I film, you know, something that I can do, you know, I can explain quick, and, you know, <clears throat> this easier for me to to get online all right so some people say hey, the videos are too long yada 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 and i've got to the point i've got so many comments saying man i wish you know wish they were longer wish they were longer but look i'm just gonna get to the i got to the point now i was really been thinking about it you know for the last month Hey, if it's 20 minute video, 25 minute video, so be it. As long as I'm putting out good quality, you know, content, you know, and, and people can actually learn from it, hey, that makes my day, y'all. And uh, for the haters, you know, that don't like a 20 or 25 minute video, you know, I apologize. You know, I, I, I'm really from the bottom of my heart trying to teach other people you know, how to tie jigs, you know, and I mean, it's hard to do that by skipping certain steps, you know, I like to, I'd like to show from the beginning to the end, everything I do, and I'd like to explain why I'm doing that, so look, y'all keep the comments coming, and uh, if you would, you know, <clears throat> share this content with your fishing buddies, with your family, with your friends, let's build this community, you know, and uh, we're all about crappie here, y'all. All about jigs, all about crappie fishing, all about uh, the good Lord, uh, the faith, 
you know, <clears throat> just all about family and friends, the lake, crappie, fishing. That's what we are all about, y'all. And some cooking. If you go back, it's been a while because I've been super busy, but I also do a lot of cooking on this channel. And uh, hopefully, uh, during the summer, you know, in the heat of the year, it kind of slows down. So I'll be able to do a lot more cooking. So, but look, God bless each and every one of y'all. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I honestly do. Look here. Today, I had a request to uh, to tie with a number six sickle hook, a 30-second head. So we got a 30-second, uh, around one thirty-second head with a number six sickle hook y'all all right yeah i got a little pain on the shank but it ain't gonna hurt a thing all right so we gonna tie this bad boy today now make sure now no matter what kind of you know jig vice you got make sure you adjust it for that smaller hook you know because every time i put something on here you know i've got a, a different hook so you know, a different size. So we want to make sure you get your your vise adjusted right to that hook. We gonna tie this with a two ten Danville flat wax. We gonna tie it with an orange thread, y'all. I'm telling you, when you see this, you're gonna be like, man, this dude is crazy. There ain't no way this will catch cropping, but hey, I'm telling you, <clears throat> it will. It will, y'all. To me. I, I, I actually fish a lot of orange and red, y'all. I really honestly do. Look at that. My favorite scissors, my curved shank scissors. Boy, I love them. Glad I found them. But anyhow, so look. Our flash, y'all. That is, uh, we're not going to use that. Sorry. Flash boot magnum. That is basically all I use, y'all. And that's all you need. I mean, they have different sizes of it, but I like the magnum. All right. This here is like a firecracker color. It's got some green, got some yellow, got all, all sorts of colors in it. It really pops, y'all. So <clears throat> this one, this one here, as you can tell, it's got some pearl in it. It's got uh, orange in it. Trying to get it in the right light where you can see it. But, man, that stuff really, really, really shines, y'all. All right. Wrap that bad boy around. Right around your head. All right. It's held up by that thread. Start tying it in. Same thing as with the bigger jigs, y'all. We, uh, we want, you know, we want... To make sure you got uh, a piece on each side of each side of the hook, so I got a piece of uh, flash on this side of the hook, piece on my side of the hook. Make sure that they are not the same length. I don't even want them close, cause they will stick together. You don't want that. You want all the movement that you can get, y'all. Uh, now this right here. It's from Bardo's, y'all. It's neck hackle. Uh, you can go through and pick you out a good, even feather. Even. I'm trying to see one. Let me find one that... You see how... Yeah, look at here. You see how on this feather, it's got a lot missing right here? You don't want that, y'all. On this small jig, you could use this end of it. You know what I mean? You could use that, but get you a good, nice, full feather, all right? Grab that bad boy right by the tip, y'all, all right? Start pulling down on it. Spread it out. Spread that bad boy out, all right? You want a nice, full body all the way down, okay? Now, what we're looking to do is cut us our V pattern in that feather, y'all. I'm going to show you how to do that. I like to clean up as I go when I'm messing with this because if you do not, you will have a mess. All right. That very tip right there, you see that? I'm going to cut that off. We may use it. We may use that later on down the road. 
but uh, it's kind of cockeyed, and I don't like that. All right? So, you're going to go, just like with, with anything you do, whether it be bucktail or whatever, you, you want the, about approximately the same length is a shank of your hook, you want that hanging off. That is my that is my rule of thumb. That is what I go by. All right. So you want the length of that shank hanging off past your hook. All right. We just find us good places in there. My hands are kind of wet, y'all. And feathers do not like wet hands. I apologize about that. So let me stop right there. And that way y'all can see. It done perfect. Let me get another feather. Let me dry my hands off. I actually picked up, just by simply picking my cup of water up over here and drinking it, I got uh, got water on my hands and it was sticking to that feather. So let's start over, y'all. All right, grab it by the tip. Spread that sucker out. See how I spread it in out? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice and full, y'all. Like I say, we're gonna cut that tip completely off. Just a little tip. Now, you see how you get that V pattern in there? You see that right there? No. Oh, yeah. All right, so we just gonna go in there and we're gonna cut us, let's say about an inch a piece, right? Inch, inch and a quarter a piece, that way <clears throat> it'll be sticking off, you know, the right lane. Now, look, you see that how that feather is right here? That's no good to me. We, we can't use that. So you might as well throw the rest of that away. I mean, some people do use it, but me, I, I just, I can't use it. So anyway, take your feathers. All right, pick them bad boys up. It just, and it depends on if you want a bushy tail or not a real bushy tail or whatever. This one here, I don't want no big bushy tail. So we put them feathers together, right? Uh -huh. Put them together. Take your fingers and just strip some of the feathers off. Uh -huh, till you get straight down to the quill. You see how I did that? Uh -huh. We got ladies, bad boys right over the shank of that hook. Now, you hear me all the time on other videos with bucktail or whatever. Uh, it's, it's essential when you're tying with feathers that you just put a couple of light wraps because them feathers will move, y'all. I promise you. And once you got it sensed down, there's absolutely nothing you can do so get you a couple of light wraps so you get them feathers where, where you like it and then cinch it down. You see how I did that? I didn't like the way it was. So we gonna start, we gonna, I pulled it off and we gonna start over. Now, people with bigger hands with these smaller jigs, it is sometimes it gets kind of, uh, you know, Nerve, not nerve, reckon what's the word. Sometimes it'll kind of get on your nerve. Anyway, uh, we got them where we wanted them. And we're going to tie them bad boys in, y'all. Same thing as with the bucktail. Same identical thing, y'all. All right. My next video, oh, yeah. My next video, I'm, let me tie this and I'll tell y'all. Just wrap it around. We're going to twist. One, two, three, four. Next video, I'm going to tell y'all a secret about finicky cropping. And I've run into a ton of them this year. I don't know why. Anyway, that's for the next one. Okay, y'all, look at that. We got that. We got our <clears throat> feathers tied in. Boy, that's going to be a good-looking jig, I'm telling you. Now, look. We don't want no whole bunch of uh, a flash, okay? Some people, sometimes I don't even put any flash in it. But this, this jig here, 
it is, uh, <clears throat> I was talking to a friend of mine today, and I told him, he asked him about some smaller jigs, and uh, I said, well, look, man, I had a guy ask me, you know, to do some, so <clears throat> you can actually, uh, I'll make you these up, and you can have them. Well, he's actually going to buy them, but anyway. So, look, I cut me off about two inches of that, inch and a half or two inches, y'all. I don't want very much now. Uh, I just want a cup, a little bit of flash in there. And actually, I'm going to lay it on the back of there. And look, that's still too long, y'all. So you can you can do one or two things. You can cut it off or you can fold it over. So in this case, I'm just going to cut it off, y'all. Okay? We don't want to overdo it. Sometimes, sometimes a crappie like a small profile. I know that, you know, if you crappie fish a lot, you notice that even even with live bait, even with minnows, you know, the daggum crappie, they will bite smaller minnows sometimes better than they will bite the, you know, the bigger ones. Or and vice versa, they will bite the bigger ones, you know, over the little ones. It's crazy. Same thing with a jig, you know. They will... Uh, they, sometimes they just like a, a, a real nice uh, finesse, finesse type profile. So anyway, look, we got that. We got a flash in there. It's not much. We got about five strands, and then look how it sticks up, y'all. That's gonna be a fine jig. Now, this is Wooly Booger Gold from Barlow, y'all. I'm telling you. <clears throat> It's just straight gold. This 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 is in the wrong package. Sometimes I put it on my desk. It says fluorescent yellow, or whatever, but it's not. It's straight gold, y'all. I just put it in the wrong package. Uh, it is from Barlow's. It's number two Chanel. It's Wooly Booger. It is straight gold. Uh, I stripped that Chanel off down to the thread, right? Lay that bad boy right on the back of the sink of that hook. Start tying her in. All right? If you miss, you see how I miss that side right there with that thread? Pull you out a little bit of, pull you out some thread. All right? Get you some slack. Then catch that bad boy. All right? That's the way to do it. Make sure to wrap back onto where you still have some of the Chanel. All right, tie that bad boy off. Ooh -wee. I'm gonna tell you something right now, y'all. This right here, you can use this sucker for bass. You can use it for crappie. You can use it for uh, perch. I'm gonna tell you, y'all, on a good sunny day, this jig right here will smoke them down, y'all. I'm telling you from personal experience, I've used it a bunch. And I'm telling you, I have wore them out. Real, and, and look, when them crappie stacked in there, thick, 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 like in the wintertime when they start bunching up, hey, you can drop this little bad boy in there. And I'm telling you, uh, it's something to see a 15 or 16 inch crappie come up off of this little bitty jig, y'all. Everybody knows how I am about building that collar up, all right? So, handy dandy scissors, y'all. Bam, I ain't even got to look at that side no more because I know with my curved scissors, that bad boy is good to go. Pull you out, pull you out some slack. Slack is your friend when you go to do this whip finish, y'all. Uh -huh. Catch it at the top, catch it at the bottom. Start wrapping. I'm going to do me three or four, you know, five times. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to stop. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to build my thread up. On these smaller jigs, I don't do it as much. Uh -huh. But I still want to make sure... That collar's there, and they can distinguish that collar chain. All right? I'm telling you, it works, y'all. 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not claiming to be the best fisherman by no means, but I spend a ton, a ton, a ton of time on the water, y'all. And I try all kind of different things. Ooh, wee, y'all. Look at here. Look at that jig, y'all. This may be the first one y'all see me tie with that knack hackle. I don't know. But anyway, that is a fine jig, y'all. And I promise you, sometimes, look, uh, sometimes you may have to uh, go in there and switch around. It got hung on the opposite side of the hook. You want it to all be straight, you know? But anyway, <clears throat> that ain't gonna affect the bite. But anyway, that is your 132nd. All right. <clears throat> Jig head, uh, green head, you see that right there, your red neck hackle, orange thread, uh, then you got your chartreuse, crystal flash in there, ooh, y'all, look at that, you know what I call that, the yellow jacket, y'all, I'm telling you, that old yellow jacket, that'll bring them in, I'm telling you, golly, y'all, hey, look, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. You don't know how much it means to get these comments, these, uh, all these pictures y'all send me, man. It means the world to me. When I get up in the morning or get in from, you know, fishing or whatever, and I see these pictures, man, it literally makes my day. Look, God bless each and every one of y'all. And I hope, you know, that y'all are learning, continue to learn. If there's anything you want to see me do that you're struggling with or, or, or whatever, do not hesitate to reach out, guys and gals. God bless y'all. We will see y'all next time. Look, I'm going to put this old yellow jacket to work, not tomorrow, but the next day. And we'll show y'all some pictures of crappies caught off of the yellow jacket, y'all. See y'all next time.